Hey everybody, welcome. I'm not throwing this away, I like it. So this is the process we're doing today. And um, that is just this latex flow troll. Make sure it says latex. And then you strain it um, in a little strainer into a bottle or whatever you want to do. These work really well, I think, just from Dollar Tree. Uh, but make sure you strain it. If you don't strain it, don't panic. <laughs> if you've done this before and you didn't strain it, I understand. So have I. Look, all of these little bumps. Do you see the raised parts? That is like chunk of this latex, okay? That's what happens when you don't strain it. Had I seen it earlier, you can just take a toothpick and pull it up. I didn't, so um, there we go. But when it's finished, look, it doesn't really matter. It just gives it texture. Now I understand if you wanted it slick and super smooth, but if you did, there's nothing that says you can't spray it with Krylon spray and then wait for it to dry and then resin it and it'll just be glass and you won't feel any of those bumps or anything like that. So my problem with this and that we're gonna to fix today with the same technique is it's supposed to say soulmates and it looks like it's like an H and something else. I don't know what happened, I'm just writing. <laughs> so, you know, rather than pitch it, this is for my own thing. Um, every year I do a soulmate thing. <laughs> so rather than pitch it, we're gonna fix it. Um, if you're working straight, you don't want have anything to fix and you wanna just start, you can start on raw wood, you can start on something that has a background. I got some blue ink and some white unicorn spit Celine, the artistic vibration. This smells delicious, it's jasmine. Aromatherapy, naturally scented. Uh, anyway, and I put that all over it because I just wanted to have a background and it's not been sealed, so it could start picking back up again. But in this type of painting, what this does for you <laughs> and me is it just allows us freedom to just let the colors flow and and follow your art around. It, it becomes boss. <laughs> It'll show you what it wants. You do you, um, but it's just a free way of painting. So that's what we're gonna do. So grab Michelle Nicole, girl boss, creator of the Unicorn Spit and these Artistic Vivations. She is coming on live with that. It is a fabulous opportunity to come in and ask her whatever questions and it's gonna be a hoot. <laughs> so same time, 11.45, Tuesday, August 1st, and um, we'll host Michelle Nicole, the Unicorn Spit Queen boss. <laughs> Dead and making art, welcome. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, so let's fix my mess first and I'll show you how Floetrol works with this unicorn spit right fast. Show you your okay, so I'm taking the Floetrol on the spots that I wanna fix, my H, whatever. And um, it might as well be going into water, this little dolphin thing. And the first thing I thought was I would just cover it up with different colors, but then I, you know, I love the zeotiol. These are all non-toxic and water soluble. Now when you're putting it into Floetrol, the Floetrol has the latex. That's the color orange one you want. You don't want the pink. Um, this sometimes is a white cap, sometimes orange, so don't trust it, just go for the latex. <laughs> anyway, so when you put the unicorn spit into the latex, it becomes its own like acrylic type of thing. So, it won't reactivate with water again, which is cool also. So I'm just gonna put this right on in there in a big old dot. I have no rhyme or reason why I'm doing this this way. I just wanna see what happens. And that is how I paint. That is my process. I love to just play in color and see what happens. And a lot of times, you know, you're gonna go in different directions than what maybe you had in your mind like that. But it's okay when you realize it's okay. So what I've got <laughs> is these little nail dotting tools. And it's nice on canvases rather than 
toothpicks or those long sticks because it won't poke into your canvas. And I'm just gonna start swirling this for a little bit. If you use a brush, you're gonna get bigger, you know, brush strokes. Whatever you do on top, right here on this flow troll, is what is going to find and down onto your canvas or your wood or whatever. Looks pretty colors. No rhyme or reason. But that's how you do it. You just put your flow towel down on whatever surface you're working on and then just start adding your colors. Look, the unicorn spit colors and artistic vivations are super uber concentrated. You don't have to use them straight. However, when I'm going on to an art piece, I like to get more definition. And if I water it down, it'll blend easier. So I want to keep it less watery. And that's why I've strained the flow troll, but haven't added water to it this time. And my colors don't have water. I put them in little tubes with skinny little needles. Um, this is a mixture of saline and the regular white mean unicorn spit. And I just mixed them both in together there. And what I've mixed up in here is um, this purple, which is gorgeous, and midnight blackness, which is the black unicorn spit, and a little bit of a blue thunder, and I just mixed it up because um, I just want something dark, <laughs> but I didn't want it all black. So we'll see what happens when it hits the flow troll and what colors come back out. That's the fun part. And it may just end up black, who knows? Looks very dark. I do see a little hint of purple. So I bet that will show up a little bit more once I put some more white on. So it's just playtime, you guys, with flow troll and unicorn spit. It is so fun. <laughs> you can't go wrong. That's the beauty of it. Which makes you just relax, you know, and then so does the aromatherapy. <laughs> so let me pull some of this through a little bit. I don't know which way I want it. But just swirling through, how pretty is this? I mean, everybody can do that drag pool. <laughs> On a lot of this, the best thing is grab a stencil and put your stencil down, draw it in, and then you have something that you can start pouring in and doing all your swirls and doing the fun part. If you don't like the drawing part, you know, you don't have to just not do it, just do it with a stencil. So I'm just gonna let that pour off a little bit. I have paper down below me just in case. Okay, so now I totally already like this so much better. I know it looks messy, but I love it. I love messy. <laughs> Can you tell? So I'm leaving it alone and I'm just gonna set it over here and let it dry. And I can come back later and decide, okay, I wanna rearrange stuff. I can leave it alone and add to on top of it, or I can come back and brush some off if it's not set yet, whatever. Don't be afraid to keep going on your art, you know? Uh, yeah, you'll lose some of it, but you'll end up with some very cool stuff. I'll be right back. Let me put this over here. Talk to him, Pixie. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> so I want to go dark a little bit more on this wood. I have not sprayed it with water because I don't want to open up the grain any more than it already is. And I'm just gonna go over my, this is a unicorn spit and just a combo, purple, black, blue. Just gonna go over some dark areas. I wanna remember, cause once I start doing the flow troll, 
um, I have a tendency to get carried away and I lose these spots. So I thought maybe if I outline them in this dark first, it'll be easier to see. Or it'll just start blending and it'll be weird and that'll be okay too. I just wanna have kind of an outline of where my seahorse is gonna be. So if you want followers and you're willing to engage, this is the place for you, you guys. I went on Facebook um, talking about Sauce Boss the other day, uh, and I started at 270, sorry, my head just down, <laughs> 270 followers on Facebook. And when you're building a social media community, that's not good because you're doing the same amount of work as someone as far as videos getting out there but you're not, they're not being pushed out. So, you know, Thomas and all of those people, all of you people that like and share, comment, you know, that's why I run around on the days off and do the same to you guys when I come find you <laughs> because it matters. So now um, it's been a month and I'm up to 1,400 and something followers or the official sauce group. Okay, so anyway, um, and also because of Michelle Nicole and her beautiful tribe with the unicorn spit. So before then, I had the hardest time, but since then, it's just been a joy to create because you know that it's getting out there, you know? So if you're looking to grow your business or even just your own personal platform for whatever reason, I totally recommend you going to the uh, official sauce group on Facebook. I'm there. Um, Kate Charles Art, come visit me. <laughs> if you are there, let me know and let me follow you. Okay? I want to help. You guys have been such a help to me. Cool community. Absolutely, Thomas. You know, this is just a beautiful place to to grow. Everybody has a passion, you know? And it doesn't matter what it is. I, I think it's just exciting that they're, they're running after it, you know? I just love it that they're chasing their passions down. All right, so basically I have a, a rough outline in Unicorn Spit, so it's liable to go crazy. But now I'm just going to throw flow troll right in wherever I want swirlies and freedom to move paint around. And you don't have to do anything. <laughs> you don't have to do the inside, the outside, whatever. You can do whatever parts you want. You know? As you can see by the dolphins, you can go back. So I'm taking this brush and with a little bit of white, you just grab whatever colors you want and just start experimenting. I just want to see. All right, so um, I'm just going to use my float trawl knowing that it's going to be clear when it dries, okay? I'm just going to use it as a guide to just kind of go up and around, something like that. And now I can just follow that along with whatever colors I want. And the sparklings shake up really, really well, for sure, because you want to get all that goodies. Again, no rhyme or reason. I just want to see. Look how pretty that green sparkle is. Oh my goodness. So just dip it in your water and twist. That way it doesn't get dry on the top. Okay, so I feel like I'm crowding. My All right, I'm just dragging my brush up and around and over and wherever. I want to add another color. Let me add some of that dark purplish brown, whatever. Black right there. I 
I really like the combination of colors. That's what makes the flows look so pretty. And remember, we don't have any white unless you add white, even though it looks like it. So I'll put a couple little whites, but put it up towards the top, right into the blue. Oh, someone sent a rose. Aw, thank you for the rose. Thank you. This might be a little rock cliff or something. I'm gonna put some purple down here. Just right into that flow troll mixture of everything. And just play with it for a second. So you guys, if you're new, please say you're new and welcome. And also, uh, Michelle Nicole is coming here and we are embossing together August 1st at 11.45, my regular time. And she is the creator and brainchild of this beautiful Unicorn Spit product and artistic variations. So don't miss it if you are curious of Unicorn Spit because you guys ask questions I don't have answers to. <laughs> all I know is, oh, look at the pretty colors and watch how it flows. So it's an opportunity for me, for sure, and you guys to come check her out. So it, it'll be August 1st. I'll put videos out. I'm just going to let this run for a minute you guys let see that look how pretty you know i couldn't paint that out of my mind but i can let it run you know what i'm saying somehow when it runs and flows you get so so many pretty movement that you just couldn't get any other way <laughs> it's amazing i'm just gonna let it flow right over this edge it down. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just a nice little surprise when someone's looking at it to see, oh neat. It might drive someone crazy. That's okay. They won't buy it. This will go to the one that says, oh neat. <laughs> I'm just gonna add some more color around it because I couldn't take it either. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's almost turning into a flower and now I got good ideas. Which, see, that's what happens is you get started trace, chasing down something like that and you think, it could be a flower on this seaweed thing around him. Never know. Beautiful colors. It doesn't have to make sense. I finally gave myself permission to accept that in my art, I don't have to know what it is I'm telling you if you've never experienced that struggle of <laughs> fighting with yourself uh, and finally winning. It's fab pale. I've lost the green going across his body. So I'm going to take my strong combination of purple, black, and blue, and I'm going to go right across this body again but with that I'm trying not to you know drag it through his shape <laughs> but I'm just gonna let that lay there a little bit All right, and then I'm just grabbing the green that's messed up down here. Not messed up, but just hanging out. I'm just gonna use it on this leaf. A little bit of white. And I have some white up here, I think. Oh, I love it. So. Just so that it's not sitting here hanging on in midair, I just give it something else coming down. I don't 
don't know why. It's in my own head. You guys have rules for your own self in your own head. <laughs> what you can and cannot do. Some of them are good. I mean, as long as they're working for you, sweet. But if it's a, a rule that is not working for you, it's stopping you from something, time to jettison, as my hubby would say. <laughs> Aggressively. Very aggressive. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> so not. All right, so I have a interesting little movement going on down here at the bottom. I got an ugly little movement going on down here. And, you know, if I only want to do his tail because I have like five minutes, I could come in and just do his tail. And then the next time I can come in and do another part. It doesn't have to be done all at once. I love this part. Thank you. I like it all, but I like especially this part. I especially like that Thank part too. And a little bit on the crown of her head. And I think she'll have a little fin sticking out right here. And I'll add some to this fin too. There's no flow troll down here on the fin. That's okay. I don't care. Dip it in water, twist it, and it should be done. Liquid. Are there any questions or anything? I'll just sit here and drink for a second and, <laughs> and answer a question. Let this sit in the flow trawl that is in his belly. Tina's Corner. Oh, I got cake. Look, prizes. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Thank you. So sweet. Tina. She is the finger, hands-on <laughs> artist that I know. That's amazing. However, my sister and I were doing <laughs> art with those big canvases when she was out. And we had them on the floor because they were so big that her and I are both shorties and we couldn't reach. and. By the time I got done reaching towards the top, I don't know why, I guess it was so big we didn't, we couldn't get around the side, but I was covered. So Tina, uh, that was a fun experience. So now I can, I can see why you're into it. <laughs> but to me, it was like, oh my God. Of course, my art did not turn out looking like something either. It was just all abstract <laughs> when I did it like that. But that's what I love about the art community, you guys, is the differences. You know, that is the joy of going from room to room is you're not seeing stamps. You're not seeing the same thing, you know, the reproductions. <laughs> it's beautiful and same with their process, how they do it, why they do it. I love the ones that talk about it because it's just something you can relate to. You can grab something from them and throw it in your toolbox for the next time you're struggling with whatever, you know? It's really cool. All right, so here I'm just using the Zeotil that I plopped right on top of the flow troll that was there and the other part that was painted with unicorn stick. Just blending it in. It's not, whatever, whatever you're looking at like right now, that's what you're going to see when it dries, minus the big white flow troll stuff. It just turned into a total heart. <laughs> Love it. Getting there. All right, let me add some pretty purples. I'm going to go a little bit of flow troll, a little bit more. Right there. This is the beauty of it. When you um, just let me spread it out with this. When you start swirling different colors in their bodies, <laughs> fun. All right, and I think we'll do purple. This beautiful Atlantis might be gorgeous in it. I 
and I'm putting probably way too much of this in and expecting my seahorse will probably expand a little bit farther. <laughs> I just get carried away with colors. All right. It's fun to get messy, she says. I agree sometimes, but also, doesn't it bother you? <laughs> I love watching you get messy. It drives me crazy. <laughs> so please keep doing it because I vicariously live through your hands. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Once in a while, when I'm set out to do it, it, it makes a difference. But if I'm not, then no, no, <laughs> it does not bring me joy. This is a blend of white, different whites, uh, Unicorn Spit and Celine uh, Artistic Vivation. Let me see if I can do this. Just see if it goes, okay, there it goes. And I'm just gonna swirl it down through these dots. Ooh, that was a bunch right there. Any which way. If I just let it sit and dry, it'll suck down <laughs> right on top of that. I'm just gonna let it run. Hold on, I'm really liking this. Okay. Yay. to brush again and fix this area and I am stoked. Look at this gorgeousness. Okay, well the uh, branch that went over him is now behind him and that's fine. <laughs> that's what he wanted apparently. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness, you guys. I wish I could tip it up for you, but it'll just run too much. So you'll have to wait till I post a picture later. Oh, it's so pretty. So fun. I hope you guys really do try it with a flow troll if you've never tried it before. I'm gonna come in and work a little bit more on his little face and her face, whatever it is. Um, after it dries a little bit, I'll give her eyelashes and see what else I might want to play with. But for now, I think that's where she's going to stay. Very cool. Oh my gosh. So flow troll, y'all, as I keep messing with it. Um, remember, it's just the, not the pink label, but the orange label, it says latex. And just remember to strain it into a bottle and if you're gonna do the drawing, painting, and writing letters, I recommend you don't add water to it. Just let it be straight. And it will have like an acrylic texture when it's finished. It'll be shiny and your unicorn spit will not reactivate. But that doesn't mean you're done. You can continue to work and work on a piece like that. Um, just leave it, it has a therapy, you know? You can come back to it and just dawdle with colors anytime you want. Um, it's just a beautiful experience to paint like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. You guys, you are the best tribe ever. 